Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install a bow hold buddy on your violin or viola bow. So bow hold buddies are made for beginning violin and viola students and they're meant to help guide their fingers and get them in the right position for a beautiful bow hold. So I'm going to walk you through the installation steps on the back of the package and that way even if you're a parent who's not super confident on your string knowledge, you'll be able to help your child get their bow set up so that they can use this accessory. So let me take it out of the package first so you can see what it looks like. They actually send it uh, on a pencil so you can sort of visualize what it will look like when it's on the bow. The stick of the bow is going to be running through each of these parts. And this accessory is two different parts. So this larger part is shaped like a frog. And these come in all different colors. I just chose blue because that's my favorite color and it's our school color as well. And then the second part is a little fish. And so I'm going to walk you through these steps and you'll see that this is super simple. Anyone can do this. So step one is to remove the screw from the end of the bow and separate the frog from the stick. Now this might be a little bit confusing because I just said that this is shaped like a frog, which it is, but we also have a part of our bow that is called the frog. So Here's my bow. This section down here is called the frog. And if you didn't already know this, you can separate this from the stick by unscrewing the screw at the end. So this is used to loosen and tighten the bow every time you play. But if you continue to loosen it, it will eventually come all the way out and then separate the frog from the stick like this. Now, a couple of things. When you do this, your hair is going to all be loose like this. You still want to be careful. Remember, you don't want to touch the bow hair because you don't want to get those oils from your hand into it and ruin it. There's also other things you want to keep it away from. So make sure wherever you're doing this, you can set it down and know that it's going to be safe. I just have it on my desk here, which should be fine. But you want to keep it away from any liquids, any skin, anything like that. And uh, this is what it looks like now with the frog removed. Now, it also caution your child. I, I remember, I'm just going to be totally honest, when I was a student and I found out my bow could do this, I was taking it apart all the time just for fun. Only do this when you're installing the accessory and when you're taking it off. And you will have to do this every time they play because it won't fit in the case with this on. Unless you have some sort of an instrument stand, you're going to have to install this each time they play and then take it off. Um, but don't just encourage them not to be doing this for fun. Uh, you don't want to have additional wear and tear on your bow. So I've taken the frog off of the stick, or I've separated them. Now I can add this frog. So it's going to slide right through. There's a hole there, goes right through onto the stick. Super simple. And then we can move on to step two. It says to slide the accessory onto the stick. Oh, I kind of, I, I did that already. So that was part of step two, slide the accessory onto the stick. Then reassemble the bow. And there's one more part to step two. It says to position the accessory foot snugly against the ferrule. And I'll show you what that means once I get this connected back together. All right, so what you're wanting to do is just assemble the bow back together. So you see, I got that little eyelet of the frog back into the slot. I'm gonna push it together and reinsert the screw and tighten up the bow. You wanna tighten the bow at this point because the next step you're going to actually lose function of tightening the bow. So tighten the bow however tight you'd like it. And remember the last step to that was to position the foot of the accessory snugly against the ferrule. The ferrule is this metal piece down here. And so what they want you to do, if it's not already like this, is to slide the accessory all the way back and rotate it so that it's right against the ferrule. So you can see that it's right there on it. Okay, depending on the size of your bow, your the accessory may have been slid up a little bit further, so they want you to pull it right back. And then we've moved on to step three. Slide the fish accessory onto the stick, adjusting to rest next to the ring finger. So this is a really cool feature of this. It is adjustable depending on hand size. So for me, I just wanna put it on probably about that much. And you can see it lines right up with my pinky. So my pinky goes in the little hole. And this is a proper setup to the bow hold buddy. So I have the two accessories, the frog and the fish, and I'm able to put my thumb underneath the frog, wrap my three fingers around it, and then put that pinky right in the fish. And that is a beautiful bow hold, all right? So 
Hopefully this was helpful if you're a parent who is struggling to figure out how to get this onto your bow. You're, you can see it's not difficult. Anyone can do it. Make sure you're careful as you're taking apart that bow and putting it back together. Don't force anything. I promise it will fit. And this is a full-size bow, so it's definitely the hardest. It's the biggest thing, so it was a little bit hard to get that frog around it. But if you're using a smaller bow, it should be even easier. If you are interested in purchasing a bow hold buddy for your child, I'll have a link in the description along with a code to save you a little bit of money on your purchase. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone has a great day and I'll see you in the next video.